Hey y'all, it's Taylor from Tattoo Teacher Plans. Welcome back to my channel. Today, we're gonna be setting up my first spread in my new Plum Paper Vertical Priorities Undated Planner. I'm so excited to get into this planner. If you missed my setup video, I will link that down below. I set up all of the months, at least for through April, I think. Yeah, and then I went ahead and did like a cute little sticker up here and I just got it ready for this new year and I'm just so excited for this completely neutral spread. It is undated, so I will have to date it. I found some date dots for this week, but I have some more coming in the mail. And speaking of that, the stickers that I was supposed to use this week did not come in time. So we're just going to throw this spread together. I found some fun things that I think will work. So I've got like this cute little sticker here. I found this from Nikki Plus 3. I love this. I'm going to use some of these more neutral ones and throw those in like up here. I grabbed this washi. So this is like the inspiration for this spread. I've got these two from Simply Gilded. They are just so pretty. And then for markers, I've got this one. I don't know what color this is, but it's like a, a beigey color. This dot marker in oatmeal and 837. So it's like a, a deep rosy reddish color. I have not even done anything on the weekly spreads in here, so I don't know how this is going to work out. We're just going to like stumble through it together. I think it's going to be fine, but I'm just going to do real time and we're just going to set up the thread. I just wanted to do a video on that. And then next week we'll pick up with plan with me's again. So this is the week of New Year, so which is on Sunday. The rest of this week is in December. So the first thing I want to do is go ahead and date it because that just kind of gives me a little bit of structure for this spread. So I just found these from Lemon and Honey Studio that I had. The first day is the 26th, which is my sister's birthday. So we're just going to put these like above the little line. I think I can just kind of play with this because I don't want to use date dots like every week because then that part in the spread will like, or that part in the planner will get like bulky. So I just want to play around with date dots and then sometimes throw in like some different things. I just don't know what that's going to look like just yet. But I think from week to week, I can kind of play around and see what I like. I really like how Saturday and Sunday are kind of set aside with their own little section. I just, I kind of like that. I don't know why. Okay, so next I want to add in some decorative stuff, which is what I normally do in my other planner before this one. And let me just show you like what it looks like, like how it looks different. So here is a week in January. There's color obviously, but also this section up here is different. This is now shorter and there's no calendar obviously. This section over here is also different. So this box is shorter. I'm not really sure why. I don't know, but we're going to work with that. And then the habit tracker section is just a little bit shorter as well. Everything else is pretty much the same. It's just like these are um, titled already, which doesn't bother me at all because those are the ones that I use the most often. But you could definitely white those out and use something else. And then here, Saturday and Sunday have their own little neutral lined section. So I think I'm going to like the difference. Um, some people express some concern with like not having lines down here, but I think that's okay for me. I'm not too worried about it. Okay, to start off, I want to just like play with this section up here and just write in. So this is December 26th through January 1st. I don't know how I want to write it. Like, I think I'll just write the whole thing out this week and just see how I like that. Okay, so that's fine. Um, then we're going to go ahead and add in some like washi and some of these decorative things. So let's start up here with this section. So it is a little different, shorter, but I don't think that's going to bother me like at all. Go throw in like some boots. And then maybe one of these like little jean things. These are so cute. And maybe the glasses too. Because they kind of match my theme there this week. Oh no. <laughs> I just broke them. Okay. It's all right. We'll fit them together. Okay, so I want to start off with some washi up here just to kind of give it a little bit of um, like a boundary at the bottom. So I'm just going to, I like the torn look, so I'm just going to go with that. Okay. And then I'm just going to layer some of these items I don't know how this is gonna look 
but it looks cute. Let me add in a quote here too, a little bit Happy New Year one. I don't know how this is gonna look. Oh, I'm like getting nervous now. Okay, I think that's good. I'll, I'll add some more stuff into the extra like body of the spread, including these little broken glasses. Okay, so now I'm gonna open up the spread and we're just gonna add some washi and some decorative things down kind of close to the bottom. I've been keeping Saturday and Sunday separate and I want to keep doing that because it just like cordons them off and I'll have more room over there. I love this washi so much, it's so pretty. Okay, then I wanna add a little bit more of this like over here on Saturday. And then let's add some decorative things in here that will kind of match these washi. And then one more over here. Okay, I like that. And then this is gonna bother me a little bit. Let me fix it real quick. So now I think we'll go to, I wanna do some stuff up here. So let me work on that real quick. This is different, more different than I thought it was gonna be. I thought it was gonna be like a pretty easy transition and it is, I'm not, I'm just being a little bit too dramatic here, but I do think it's, it's different. So I'm just gonna add some washi up here and then we're gonna put in this little tracker from Lemon and Honey Studio. I wanna track my rings this week, my Apple Watch rings. So we're just gonna put that right in the middle or actually, yeah, let's put it right in the middle. And I'm gonna add in some color just to kind of bring things together a little bit. So I've got these two and then this dot marker. So I'm gonna start with the red, I think. So I'm gonna put that here. I think I'll just do the priorities. I'm not gonna go all the way across like I used to. Like that, just kind of messy. I don't like to keep it too serious in here. And then we're gonna go same thing with to-dos. I'm gonna have to keep my markers like not quite as like dark as that red because it kind of, I mean, you can see it, but it's not, you can't see it very well. I don't know. Okay, let's go up here and I'm gonna just put in a little swatch here for habits. Okay, then I'm gonna take my oatmeal dot marker and just go over these dots. I like the way this looks. It just kind of brings things together. And these dots are cute. They're like little open circles. Okay, so let me write in habits up here. You could totally leave that blank. I mean, most people would know that those are habits, but I like that look. Okay, so habits this week. I think I'm just gonna keep it kind of simple. I don't have goals yet for January. I'm working on those, but just not yet. So I'm just gonna look back at previous threads and find some. Okay, I'm gonna be out of town until like the 28th, I think. Yeah, I'll be back on the 28th. So basically half the week is gone. I'm not gonna try to do too much at home. When I'm out of town, I get a little bit lazy with my AM PM routine. So I'm gonna go ahead and add those in here. Okay, the last one's gonna be for read each day. This is looking so cute. I love this already. You can just do whatever you want each week. And it's just such a blank slate. Okay, so this is my sister's birthday. I'm gonna put in that. Okay, since I don't have a kit this week, I'm just gonna go into my little leftovers book and I need to go through my leftovers because these are getting thin. I don't have as much as I want. So the column is a little bit wider than one and a half, like a standard one and a half inches, but that doesn't bother me like at all. Um, we're going to go to Aveline this week to visit my grandparents. So I'm going to put that in as well. Now priorities and to-dos are going to be a little bit different this week since I am out of town and it's not like a normal work week. So I don't even know what to put in. I know like on the 28th, I'm going to need to like unpack. So I'll put that in my priorities. And then I know that I'm going to have to like catch up on like laundry and stuff on Thursday and Friday. I think that I will need to like meal plan and meal prep and stuff. And I'm just going to make a dot over here to meal prep. I also need to wash my hair. I usually go on a hike every 
um, New Year's Day, but I don't know what the weather's going to be like, and, like, the next day we go to school, like, back to school, so, I don't know, it feels, like, so fast after you get to Christmas. I'm not going to worry about workouts this week, just because I know I'm going to be, like, all over the place, and just don't want to put that kind of pressure on myself, but the next week I will get back on track. I know I'll need to do some filming and editing on Saturday, and I'll need to work on my January goals this week sometime, so they're ready to be filmed. So I'm going to put that on Tuesday just to work on that a little bit. Maybe Monday as well. What else do I need to do? This was just like a weird week going into like the new year and like back into my routines. I will also need to order groceries. Okay, I know I have like some stickers for like New Year's Day and stuff. So let me see if I can find something like that. Got all of these. I need to like transfer over to this planner. Do I have pockets? Oh, I do. Okay. So here's New Year's Eve. I don't have a New Year's Day. I've already used both of those. Here's a cute little sticker. Okay. Let's do this one right here. Here we go. That's cute. Aww. And then we've got a New Year's Day one. But I don't have anything, like a script to go with that, I don't think. No. Okay, we're just going to put this right here. I can't believe it's going to be 2023. That sounds so weird. Okay, we're just going to put these in the back of this planner now since I'm moving over to this one. I need to just remember to use them because I always forget. And I just placed a new order for new ones from Coffee Monsters Co. So I need to use those. Um, the other thing that I'm missing here is... A little heart for gratitude. I've been doing this I think all through 2022 so let's just add a little heart on each day. I kind of alternate the different positions for it. Okay I think that is it. I know there are things that I'm missing. I just don't know what they are right now but I will figure it out through this week. I think I just want to like use this week as a tester and then like next week I'll have a better feel for like everything in here but I'm so thrilled to like be in this planner now because it's just it's so nice I'm really just so excited I definitely want to play around with like the section up here what I do with that this section and like just how I use my Saturday and Sunday as well but for now this is pretty close to what I was using in my other vertical priorities so I feel comfortable with this layout and then maybe in the next couple of weeks I can experiment and see like switching some stuff around see what I like I hope you enjoyed watching me stumble through this video and watching me build this spread. If you did, give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already subscribed. Hit that notification bell if you want to be notified when I upload. And I will see you next week for a plan with me in this planner where I feel a little more comfortable. So I'll see you then. Bye!